Welcome back to the channel guys. So from today I'm going to be starting a new series in which I'll be covering all the modules that are available in Expo one by one. Starting today, the first one is going to be using custom fonts. I'll not only show you how we can use the custom fonts or that particular module, but I'll show you a practical application of it in our application. So here in front of me, I have an empty React Native project that I've created with Expo and I'm running it on my iPhone 10 simulator. The first thing that we need to do is to download the new fonts for our app. The font that we're going to be using for this tutorial is called Railway and it's freely available on Google Fonts. Here on the top right, you can click select font and then you can easily download it by clicking the download link here. Once you have the fonts downloaded, you can go ahead and create a fonts folder inside your assets folder and add the fonts there. Here, I just added five of the fonts that you'll get. If you'd like, you can add the rest of the fonts that are available as well. So now we have the fonts that we need. Let's go ahead and use them in our application. Here on top, let's go ahead and import font from Expo. This is what will help us load the font into our app. Next, let's go ahead and create a constructor. Here, we'll set a default state to monitor if our font was loaded or not. So we'll say font loaded and initially set that to false. In our component did mount method is where we load our fonts. So we'll say component did mount and we'll say font.loadAsync which is a method available to us from Expo and there we can load in our fonts. So here, let's say Railway Black and let's require that font. It's in our assets folder under fonts and then it's called railwayblack.etf. Similarly, I'm gonna load in the other fonts. So there we have all five of our fonts loaded in. Once our font is loaded, we wanna make sure that we update our state to say font loaded is true. So let's say this dot set state and we'll set font loaded to true. However, we need to make sure that we wait for this to complete before the set state is called. For that, we can put in a wait here and we can make this component in mount asynchronous. So now, once our fonts load, only then will set state be called. Let's make sure we update our UI to indicate that the font was loaded. So on top here, I'm going to import an activity indicator. And here in our render method, inside our view, I'm going to say this dot state dot font loaded. If that's true, then we want to display the text. Otherwise, let's display the activity indicator. And let's just set the size of the activity indicator to large. Let's save that out. So obviously as of now, we're locally loading in our fonts. That's why we don't see the activity indicator, but when they'd be coming in from the server, we'll see it here. We can simulate that by simply commenting out this dot set state here, and we see we get our activity indicator there. So now we have our fonts loaded. How do we use this font in our application? The most straightforward way would be to add a style here to our text and say font family, railway bold. Nice, we're seeing our font there but assume that your app is gonna be really big and it has tons of screens. Are you gonna be copying pasting font family everywhere? And what if you decide to change your font in the future? That won't be a very scalable approach. So the better way to do that would be to create a custom component. So here, let's go ahead and create a new folder. Call that components. And inside that, let's create a new file called custom text. I'm just gonna use my snippets to create a class component here. And I'm gonna call it custom text. These are just some custom snippets that I've created and the link to these is available in the description. Let's get rid of the view surrounding the text. And instead of passing in hard coded text, we just pass in this dot props dot children. And let's go ahead and import this component into our app.js. See here on top, we'll say import text from components slash custom text. Now we can go ahead and get rid of this text that we're importing from React Native and save that out. As we can see, we're still getting our text here. However, this font family is not reflecting. That's because text is now a custom component and style is a prop that needs to be passed to it. Let's just remove this style for now. And let's go into our custom text. Here, we'll create a method to detect the type of font that the user passed in. So let's say const font is equal to this dot set font type which is a method we'll create and we detect that the user passed in a type. If it did, we'll use that props.type. Otherwise, we'll pass in normal. Let's go ahead and create this method. Set font type, which is gonna take one parameter, which is the type. I will say switch type. If it's black, we can return railway black. If it's bold, 
will return railway bold. And similarly, we can return the other fonts, which is semi bold and medium. And by default, we'll return railway regular. And this should actually be this dot props instead of props. So with set font, we can get the font that the user has passed in, but we need to make sure that we pass that font into our text component. For that, let's create a styles array. So we'll say const style, and inside that we can set up our font family and set that to the font that the user passed in. To make sure that we also apply any other style that the user passes in, we can say this.props.style, and if that exists, we pass that in, otherwise we just pass in an empty object. Now we have our styles array created, which we can pass into our component, so we can say style and then pass that array in. Now if we save that out and here come back to our text and set up our type, say black, we see our font still shows up here. So this takes care of the styles that are passed to our text. However, what if any other props were passed to the text? We'd also wanna access those. So for that, what we can do is we can create another object here called all props. And then we can say object.assign create an empty object, pass in whatever props were passed in by the user by saying this dot props. And along with that, we'll combine the style array that we had created. So instead of passing in style here, we can pass it in here. So it says style and that points to the style array that we created. Now instead of just passing in style here, we can pass in all props. As you can see, that still works. So now you can just import in this custom text component anywhere in your app and pass in a type to it to change the font weight. So suppose we want to change this from black to bold. We just need to change the type. Also in the future, if you decide to swap the font out, all you need to do is come here and change the font. It may also be beneficial to change the font size from our custom text component. I have another video on that, which I'll link in the end of this video. You guys can check that out. In the next video, we'll explore another module. Till then, I hope you guys try this out. And as always, thank you for watching.